Welcome back. Christchurch's Polytech is pioneering a world-first training technique, allowing students to get practical experience in virtual reality. The technology is being used to teach medical imaging students at Canterbury's ARA Institute. But as Sam Clark found out, there are some big names on the waiting list. You've done the exposure. It's not often a New Zealand Polytech has an edge on Harvard, but they're just one of many institutions lining up for this groundbreaking tech. What they're doing today is a simulation environment but there's nothing different in this environment than there will be in the hospital. James Hayes is a lecturer in medical imaging here at the Aura Institute. He's also the mind behind the new software. I asked them, could I make it so that it looked like a virtual reality x-ray room rather than a virtual reality um, game? And they said, within reason, yes. And I said, well, let's not say within reason. Let's say we want to make it identical. Before this, training was performed on decommissioned x-ray units. The system now moving practical experience into the 21st century. For the students though, the technology is fun. It feels like you're playing, it doesn't feel like I'm learning. You could have students practicing at the weekend and what they don't do at the weekends is read textbooks. We know that from experience. Meet Samuel, he's my patient for today. Usually it would be too dangerous to x-ray unnecessarily. This radiation is quite dangerous so we want to make sure our students are technically competent before they go out into the environment. But using the headset and a healthy amount of coaching. Hold on to that and just angle it slightly. Oh away. no, that, that feels weird. Did you feel weird. it? Yeah. yeah. Even a novice can be taught to produce a passable x-ray. To do this procedure in real life, this machine would cost around $750,000. Now for the first time we can go hands-on in virtual reality. I can tell you from being inside it, it feels all too real. They will have far more clinical experience before they get to the hospitals than they've done before or anyone else in the world. A bit of Kiwi tech and know-how helping to make virtual learning a reality. Sam Clark, One News.